Anyways. So, this matchup just seems basically just to me probably played around what to what's uh what are, what are they called? Spells? Whatever whatever power ups that Hero can get around. It's the different it's different power ups you can get. And great Maz getting out of there is instantly down smashing him. And that's oomph. That's gonna that's gonna be a lot of damage that gets built up. And Sephiroth is very light. So don't get into that. Oh, the double stall on the leg. Yeah, he has wings still, so... It, a lot of it... Uh, Mike Phones has to finish the stock quickly, otherwise... Vayne is in a very good position, though. Oh, great tech, though. Vayne's is... Mike... Uh, Rock Vayne's in a very good position. Take the stock for him. And there we go. Shield Breaker to down smash. And it's gonna... I think it's Giga Flare. Uh, I, I can't know every na name in this move. Yeah, name in this game. But... Here we go. Using zoom on stage, probably just top decking, honestly. Yeah, we can see Crackle Sash. Nope, going with the oomph, with the oomph. you know, get some safe damage power-ups. Now, oh, great, great tech there, getting past the F-Tilt from Vayne, as well as avoiding the orb. And the dash tech's gonna take a stock. Relatively low percent for what could have what been. Especially, it's not what you like to see after like a strong start, definitely a stronger start. Than Vayne had, but keeping it, keep trying his best to keep it close. Oh, you went. No! The orbs! Okay, oh, he can't even get the relative damage on the. Can't even get the damage on the fireball. For. And uh, Mike, Mike Funtz is using a lot of MPI, useless things. He's definitely top decking. He, got, he had the zoom! He messed up the zoom! Definitely got too low to the blast zone to use it. Didn't read it in time. But it's hero. Anything can really happen with this character. You can get a crit. You can get two crits in a row in this game. It's going to be a winning in your advantage. But you're off stage now. You getting got around Sephiroth. But you got back on stage. Now you have to worry about fighting around it. Down here is going to come out. The heal. If I remember correctly, you only get two per stock. So using it early. Interesting zoom. This doesn't use this doesn't really use that much MP, like I think it's six. So you mostly lose stage position. But if you force He had it. He the one time he didn't top deck. <laughs> the one time he didn't top deck, he um he missed the zoom. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't know enough about these characters to say, oh you should counter pick here, you should counter pick here. It's probably just gonna be his player preference thing anyways. I feel like Sephiroth doesn't exactly have many bad stages. It's more of a matchup preference thing. I mean, I feel like, of course, you know, you can have better stages than others, blah, 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 blah. But I don't think Sephiroth is in a tier like, oh, this stage is absolute butt for them. I don't think it's, I don't think it's one of those situations. I hear Robin. I did hear Robin. So, switching to a more of a lead trap character, going to Hollow Bastion. Oh, this is great. Because you can play around that center stage. Center stage on this is you know of course bigger uh bigger smash roll. the the platform it's basically this is the exact same size as fd minus the platform size i mean not uh, plus the platform so of course the closest stage in our previous stages was hazard off smash roll. that's pretty much what this is closest to and having control of center stage in this match is very important because it can limit where the opponent can go and if you're a lead trap you want that advantage you want, to, you want to prevent them from getting off that ledge, and oh, Mike, Mike is oh, he's getting stuck at ledge himself, and he would have lived, but no, he got stuck trying to pull out the arc fire. And this is just, yeah, Bane is just getting his early combos and running away with it right now. Are you off stage? No jump. That that was traded. Interesting. Oh yeah, you can't stall for too long. Here we go. The uppies on ledge, try to get back in the middle. Uh, Mike has not, I don't think he's ever hit a complete jab. I think he's only been getting like single hits of it. 
And it's not really... It's costing more stage position, if anything. He's not exactly getting punished for it. But he's not getting anything. <laughs> oh, he's just out of the distance. And there we go. He's getting hit to fully charge the orbs. And I don't know if they exploded on him or if he was already dead. If he was, he was blocked by the Maturino counter, which you can uh, support if you do command Maturino. But... Nightphone's giving up the advantage for a little bit, choosing the charge. And off stage right now. Can't re-grab that ledge. No, he just missed the corner. But he tried to roll on, and that's going to be down smash for your troubles. So it's definitely not undoable, but... Mike and Sophia does have a uh, little bit of a path ahead of him. And there you're jumping, in, jumping into that pack here. Trying to get the down tilt two frame. And there he goes. The arc fire getting canceled out by the F tilt. Oh, great roll in. Not going to get caught by the... I don't think Mike Phones is really... He's not really trying to play around the fact that the orbs are on him. Nope. Oh, and you landed! You landed on the down smash. And that's gonna be the set going to the vein, to uh, loss of vein. Definitely an uh, interesting matchup. But, yeah. You saw, we saw the Sephiroth versus Hero in game one, and Sephiroth versus Robin in uh, game two. Anyways, so, hello chat, how's it going?